a Brooklyn Bond A Express. Brooklyn Bond A Express. 59th Street is next. 59th is next. Normally the MTA means Metropolitan Transit Authority. But at this particular time, it now means movement through art. My name is Cool J.C. Rockwell. Liberated Libra since 1971. I'm the number one subway poet in this city of millions. I got a simple concept. And it goes like this. Poetential Unlimited means that you have unlimited mental ability, creative thought process to be and do anything that you conceive yourself. William Shakespeare, that noble philosopher, said, this whole world is nothing but a stage and everybody plays a part. My concept goes like this. It's a people connecting concept. What the world needs now is more hugging. against our community, of our family, of our humanity. Poet Tetra Unlimited Theater was founded in Harlem in 1971 by Rich Barty. I arrived here in 1972, a Yale University dropout, but a musician and a poet too. I ask that you read my poetry. If you like my poetry, keep this in mind. I'm not funded by the government, nor special interest groups, nor corporations. Therefore, any donation that you can afford here and now will be needed and appreciated. And I'm not the greedy. I am the needy. Thank you for your attention. And remember this also, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me for the interruption. This is not a stick up, so please do not act stuck up. Thank you very much for your generosity. To those of you unable to make a contribution at this time, I hope the next time we come face to face in the space of this human race, somehow you'll be blessed with abundance of prosperity and you'll be willing to share with your heartbeat. Feel your heartbeat and let your pocketbook express how you love being in New York, New York, the greatest city in the world. This is 59th Street Columbus Circle. Traffic is available for C, D, 1 on the upper level, 42nd next. I am a star because I've made my living like this since the 70s on the New York City subway. So, see, sometimes the train cars are too crowded, so therefore I don't want to get in the car because, like the car we just came down, it was really too crowded. It was too many people, so I couldn't maneuver up and down. And when the car just like the train just left, it wasn't enough people. So I try to look at a train, an A train or the D train, and get where there's people sitting down and I could walk up and down the aisles. You see, then that way I can communicate with all the people in that man. You see, and now you notice one thing here. See, this is a different time from the 70s. See, because people have in absorbed themselves in technology, so they got earphones and headphones. Back in the 70s, when I started this, people didn't have all those headphones, so I was a superstar. And now you got all these homeless people running through, begging too. And then now you have a lot of different entertainers now who have discovered that if they don't have no big stage to go on, the New York City sub subway is the best place for an entertainer to be and entertain, especially if you get in a subway car. This is how I made my living here in New York City, performing on the subway 
since 1972. I am the number one subway poet in this city of millions of people. New York, New York, so nice that they named it twice. Oh, shoot. Dog, I didn't know. See what I mean? Mexico's in here, so I got, they're here. I can't do nothing, because Mexicans here. See? They getting ready to perform. Mexico, here. See, they come all the way from Mexico. They, they discover. As an artist, I never do that. When another entertainer's in a car, I never do that. But back in the 70s, that was very rare that other entertainers came through cars. Back in the 70s, I was generally the only entertainer. I could go through this whole train, and there were no other entertainers in these subway cars. Now, in the year 2000, you see everybody come here. They discovered, especially as entertainers, the subway cars, you have a captive audience. That's how I made my living here, because I knew in the subway trains, I I had a captive orders. These are the trains that I used to travel on, A train and the D train, and made my living. But the Mexicans are here now, so they got it.